Good morning, traders, How and welcome see? to the Bookmap Live Trading Webinar. Uh, this is Bruce, How and welcome see? to the. And uh, what we do here uh, is go through live market analysis. Um, it's all based on our educational course. All of this is free, uh, is what we offer here. And uh, we're going to go through um, live order flow. Uh, watch the course. Uh, please access that. It's on YouTube, but you'll see it in there. Uh, and uh, and then that will set, set a really nice foundation. Uh, and then we're going to go over that same content in the live market. Uh, that's the, the whole goal here. Uh, so that uh, you can apply what you've learned uh, from that educational course. Then we have live trading. And we do that Monday, Tuesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. And then we have live trading from JTrader, a stocks trader, uh, at one, on Wednesday at, at 10. And then uh, Scott Pulsini, a futures trader, at thurs, Thursday at 10. Uh, so you can also see other traders, how they read order flow. So this really completes uh, the picture here of what you're getting uh, in terms of uh, education. And all of it is free. Uh, general disclosure, all bookmap limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Risk disclosure, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. So it's important to understand that uh, this is all for educational purposes only and not financial uh, recommendations whatsoever uh, is so that our our goal here is to go through order flow uh, and uh, apply uh, what you've learned uh, from the uh, order flow all right so let's take a look at this s p e mini that's typically where we start uh, and uh, everyone wants to look at that so we cover that uh, let me know if you want to look at crypto or or uh, any other stocks or anything like this uh, but uh, most people want this. So uh, that's what we cover. All right. Uh, and let's dive in here. Uh, well, a, a, I guess maybe there's a few um, uh, housekeeping uh, items here. Just uh, so you guys know on our YouTube channel, all last week we had our crypto webinar series. Uh, so you can watch the recordings in here. Uh, all on crypto. Okay. So uh, uh, if you're a crypto trader, that might be of interest. Uh, we have that new liquidation indicator uh, that I think you will like as well. All right, so let's take a look at these markets. And uh, we have, uh, well, we have a lot of interesting things going on right now. Uh, and uh, we also have a, a really um, jam-packed week uh, with FOMC and, and retail sales and all sorts of economic data coming out as well. Uh, and uh, we can take a look at the bigger picture. Uh, current market, I'm looking for this move right up to this 38.10 here, looking for a little bit of a short squeeze here uh, to hit this liquidity up here. Uh, seeing some buyers come in, I want to see them try to push it higher uh, and try to get a short squeeze going here. Uh, so uh, we went down and, and traded back down into these lower levels here. Just below, you can see the swing here uh, at 37.95. Uh, and uh, see if we can get some people on the hook down here. We can already see the stop runs to the upside. So looking to see if we can squeeze a little bit higher here because we're likely going to hit a lot of stops up here uh, at uh, 38.10 or maybe even higher. And because uh, everyone reads the news, sees the market, just, you know, hell in a handbasket basically, uh, and uh, they will be shorting it. Uh, and uh, we can see if we can get them squeezed here where anyone that is short will be, uh, their position will now be long basically and they'll have to uh, to cover, they'll be compelled to cover. All right, so uh, we're getting a bit of a pullback here right now. Let's see if we get our buyers right around this cluster in here. I do not see much supply in here or demand in here. The demand is down, down further uh, at the moment. Uh, good morning, Bert. Good morning to everybody. And let's hold on a minute here. Uh, time and sales. Uh, you want to take a look at the time and sales? Sure. Uh, we can also filter for the time and sales. Uh, hold on a minute. Where is it? Time and sales. There we go. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, it's up to you how you want to filter it as well. If you want to look at like, you know, 10, um, that's going to slow some things down. 
or three, two, three, something like that. Um, all right, so let's see here. Still banging around up here, as you guys can see. We did get a little bounce off of this little cluster, and it's the figure here at 3,800. I'm still looking for another bounce here, see if we can get our buyers in here. Uh, they are starting to bid up. See them bidding up underneath here? Uh, now, that's kind of far away, uh, but uh, that's you know showing some interest at a higher level here. Uh, let's see how the market reacts to it. Uh, let's see if we can get some uh, some buyers in here. We got to get above this swing up here. Um, you know this recent uh, high around this uh, 06 and, and a half or so, uh, and then see if we can get our buyers in here to try to squeeze it higher. Uh, let's take a look at the bigger picture uh, as well. Lots of icebergs just coming in right now. It's not actually it's not that many, in the bigger picture here. Uh, but nice nice stop run here in this area so uh, let's see if we can get some more though i'm still looking for some more here uh, all right let's take a look at this bigger picture here uh, and uh, it's not pretty uh, we can see you know last week uh, thursday friday the down days here here uh, you can see the uh, the open the gap lower and the continuation uh, down below the swings here uh, on the daily chart uh, basically, uh, you, you, you can see the uh, the hour chart here in the gap uh, from the cash session. So some huge gaps in here uh, for these cash sessions and, uh, you know, opening down here below the swing uh, immediately. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you know, these huge down days like this. And we also mentioned uh, there was a tweet that we uh, we put out. Uh, that uh, you might be interested in. I'm really curious to see what's kind of going to unfold here. Uh, and uh, uh, this is why. Take a look at the um, uh, the tweet in here. Uh, and uh, what we saw on Friday, uh, just, you know, massive liquidity in here. A lot of iceberg, a lot of iceberg uh, uh, transactions as well. Uh, so it's just something to note. Uh, and uh, that's it for now. Uh, we'll put the story together uh, later, uh, but uh, this is the way to that we we've seen it you know several times in the past. We start to note where people are getting filled their positions. Larger players typically can continue to be on the bid here and have price go against them as they average into their positions. Uh, so uh, we're you know. Uh, looking for that potential scenario here as well. So here, here we go. We, we're getting uh, you know that move right back down to 95 right now, uh, and um, uh, does selling pressure continue here? Yep. All right. So we're going to go lower here. Uh, see if we can get back into 90s. We should see some nice uh, uh, stops and icebergs, as you can see. We already are uh, hit a blow into these new lows here, uh, but I'm still looking for that same possible scenario here. Okay, of uh, the squeeze higher here. Uh, we're just not ready yet. Uh, and we're going to look at again at the same scenarios here. Are they getting filled on the bid? Yes, they are. Uh, how much liquidity is getting filled on the bid in these areas here uh, as price goes against uh, uh, the buyers or these these bids in here? Uh, and then looking for uh, some exhaustion maybe and some uh, some buying to come in, come in here. And uh, here's some uh, a little bit of buying already and and look at the sellers down here very few all right let's see if we can get buyers and move it right back up here to 92 and a half not yet now yeah, it doesn't look like it now we're getting our sellers here So we're just open to these scenarios here, all right? Now we can take a look at market structure in here, and you can see that uh, market structure-wise, we're, we're not even getting back above this little cluster here at uh, uh, 3790. Okay, so we're st we're still getting selling pressure in here. Uh, we got to see some of these swings broken. The market structure first needs to be tested and then broken uh, for some of these moves to unfold. Now that works on all time frames uh, as well. Okay, so uh, we're looking for that. All right, so I'm getting a few buyers here, right? Now, this is where we need to see the buyers back up above, though. Okay, um, uh, basically above this uh, kind of um, 89 or 90 area here. Uh, 
All right, let's see if we can get them here. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about in terms of market structure. And this is the first thing that needs to uh, be tested and broken. Now, the way to, we look at the order flow within the structure uh, is to uh, to understand the volume pressures in here as well as the auction. Where, how's the bid? How's the offer? Uh, look at this trader here uh, following down. Uh, and uh, we usually or typically look at something like this. This is the behavior of an ignition algo. Uh, and uh, I don't know if it is, though, in this case, because it looks like they may have gotten filled in here. That's the big distinction. If you see this kind of behavior here and they don't get filled, and they pull their liquidity, then it is likely an ignition algo trying to basically skew the order book, uh, show lots of supply here, and push price lower, uh, maybe potentially into their uh, bids, uh, and then they, they cancel uh, their offers here and let price float back up. Okay, Or it could be someone that's just chasing here, uh, and they're just trying to get out at any price they can, basically. All right, so, uh, uh, and uh, yeah, let's just zoom into that one and let's see uh, who this might have been, which one this might have been. Yeah, I'm not seeing them getting filled here at all. So uh, I would say that that's probably probably their game uh, is to try to get price into these lower levels here. Okay, so structurally nothing has changed yet. Okay, we're still in the downtrend and, and therefore we stick to the downtrend. Uh, until we see something different. And we're just open to these other scenarios in here. Yep, so, yep, looking for more sellers here still. Let's see if we can get into 84, maybe even 80 down below here. And let's see it, sellers. Let's see it. There we go. There's 84. I want to see them. I want to see the quick move now. All these buyers on the hook in here. I want to see them. Uh, them get stopped. I don't want to see the stop run here to the downside. Uh, we do note that uh, they, you know, some of these traders are getting filled on the bid, and we do see buying. Uh, uh, in terms of icebergs in here as well okay so we're just still just open to that we're just watching and we'll, we'll, we'll look for that scenario what we need to see the order flow and the structure here change first okay, and that change we'll start on this on a very small time frame like this okay what if we get buyers back up above 84 then i'm looking for here 87 87 and a half Okay, maybe this smaller swing, 86. Uh, good morning, David. Um, auto recenter. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, this is how I'm I'm doing. You know, you probably you probably um, uh, dragged uh, the the chart back like this, and you need to uh, uh, click on um, exit drag mode here. Okay, uh, and then uh, under here, I have it on recenter, auto recenter. Uh, best bid and offer, or it could be on on your last on last trades. Okay, so uh, I typically keep it, keep it on the default of auto best bid and offer. <laughs> Thank you uh, for the uh, compliment in there. That's very nice. Um, well, yeah, we're 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 kind of you know, look, these markets. I mean, like uh, th this is something that uh, uh, you know when you develop a trading plan. Uh, which we all need to have a trading plan uh, and uh, we have to have an edge uh, now we want the order flow to go along order flow is an edge uh, as well so but it, it comes through study and understanding of these three elements on this chart here uh, we're looking at market structure okay so again we're looking at another market structure here right now and we're going to see if we're going to break it and then retest back up here, and maybe we can get even more buyers back up here. Same same concept as, as this one previously. This one didn't pan out, 
right? So we're still waiting and kind of watching here. Uh, but and and the key here though is that if you don't see this, you you still you still stay with your your trend, your direction, until you see something different. There's no reason uh, to get out. Okay, so look at this. this is getting interesting. One player has about 740 or so uh, contracts very aggressively here at uh, 3780, uh, and uh, let's see uh, see how they're they're having an influence on price. Now I'm interested to see if we can get buyers uh, back up and to maybe test this guy, and, and they're not having it uh, at all. Uh, in fact, this guy just pulled, so we're still going lower here. Good morning, Joe. Um, what are the settings I use for stops and icebergs? Okay. Uh, here we go. Let's uh, jump back up here uh, and go through stops and icebergs. Uh, here's my sub chart settings. Okay, I just have it on summation or sum. Okay, it's just cumulative volume delta over time, and you can see they're not aligned. The, uh, the axes are not aligned in here. So uh, uh, I like it that way because like I don't necessarily need to make the measurement here. I need I want to see the um, reference between stops and icebergs. So uh, therefore the axes are, are different here as you can see. You know zero to five hundred here, but that that's basically uh, you know six to nine hundred here on stops. So it's, it's you know stops is showing less basically. By market structure, yeah, I'm talking about consolidation or trend. I mean, uh, it is a structure uh, that uh, uh, we can kind of see that price is following. Yeah, it it, it could be like a, in this in this structure here. It's a, it's like a diagonal uh, consolidation basically, uh, and uh, you know we're still in it right here. Okay, see how it's breaking now? See, look at the buyers come in. Okay, great. Now let's see them move it back up to here. Let's see if they can move it back up to this uh, 80 level here. Okay, maybe even higher. Okay, so this is the this is the structure they're breaking right now, 77. And then here are the buyers above it. Okay, let's see if they can do more. Looking for more buyers in here, looking for the bid to show more here, more demand at a higher level. And I want to see it trade up into some of these swings, volume clusters, uh, as well as uh, 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 liquidity uh, up at these levels here. Okay. So we are getting more buyers up here, still looking for it to trade higher. Okay. So at this point here, we're seeing something different, right? So it, it depends on where you would want to exit maybe your position. It depends on your time frame. Uh, you know, are are you scalping? Are you just, you know holding for you know minutes, uh, several minutes, several hours, uh, or you know days? Uh, so it's 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 really kind of uh, uh, how you want to manage it here. Uh, on a smaller time frame, I would get out and I would probably reverse and get back in uh, with a get out of my short and then look for a long here and look for the squeeze. You know, something something like that. Uh, it's breaking the structure and the volume is looking good and also the the order book is um, could look better but it's not bad it's not bad right so we're we're looking now for uh, other targets to be reached uh, something on the time and sales here uh, if you want to pop that out you can and it come in, into a different window uh, and then if you close it here, it'll pop back into the column. Okay, so I just want to show you that that functionality. Okay, so this is see where we are, where we are right now. Well, we we broke structure. Okay, and uh, now we need to see if uh, we're looking f still for more buyers. We're looking for support here, uh, and uh, we're looking for demand here. Uh, and really, really not seeing. See the condition of the auction in here. Where's the demand in this area here? It's it's kind of down lower here. 
You know, I want to see it in here. And they're starting to bid up a little bit in here. Okay, but it's not much, right? Typically, you'll see, you know, on, on a reversal, typically on the first uh, kind of pullback, you'll see a lot of demand in here at a higher level. Not always, uh, but uh, uh, sometimes you just get a lot of aggressive buyers in here. Uh, and then, you know, there's not, it never even retraces like this. Okay, so uh, uh, anyway, this was a very, very short-lived counter trend trade here, uh, as you guys can see. Again, it depends on your time frame. So, you know, for example, uh, uh, you, you know, if you were, oh God, I mean, the way I would have managed it probably is uh, if I, even if I was in, you know, some of the uh, uh, moves way up here at, you know, around 10 o'clock uh, on the way back down, uh, I would have exited uh, down here. Yeah, uh, this... This uh, I'm not going to have it run against me, uh, and uh, a potential squeeze to the upside here, uh, and and just get uh, a kind of um, a stubborn uh, with my short position. Okay, now let's take a look here again. The same scenario here. Look at all the selling that just came in. All right. So are we going to get continuations? Pretty good selling. So if we get more sellers here, I'm looking for it to break, uh, and then looking for the move lower into uh, 70 or 69 here. All right, and this is this would be the pivot here. We can also look at structure, okay, again. Uh, but then see see where they, they broke it down here? Okay, all of these sellers, if we can get back up above, uh, they would be on the hook here. Okay, and then we'd be looking to see if we get our short squeeze above six, uh, 76 up here, 76 and a half or so. Charts are getting kind of messy, guys. I'm going to clean them up. Okay. Uh, yeah, something different would be breaking that structure. And then also look at the order flow in that structure. Okay, the transactions as well as the, uh, the offer and the bid. So this is something different right here, right? It broke this little structure okay, and tested right up to here. Now let's see if we can get more buyers back up here at 75, basically. If we do, we should get a move to 77, and then we can get back up maybe even to 80 up here. Okay, the key level to get above those is 76 here, as you can see. Okay, some liquidity coming in there, 77, 76, somewhere around there. Okay, so. Did we get sellers here? Nope. Okay, we didn't get buyers here either, though. Okay, we sh that we're retesting back up here. We need to see buyers up here. And let's see if they can re retest back up here to 75. There they are. All right, buyers, let's see if we can now push it, get the squeeze, and let's see if we can get back up. And we'd be looking for our stop run now. All right, I, yeah, I don't, I don't really like it. Uh, I wanna see the buyers up here, not here. Right, not a lower high here. I want to see a like an equal high with good volume on it on the buy side or a higher high. You know, that, that gives us insight. Okay, so let's see if we can get our buyers up here at 74. And uh, Discord guys, I'm sorry. I, I take a look now. Okay, so no no comments over in Discord. All right, let me jump back to YouTube. Uh, targets for today? Well, uh, 
boy, like a higher time frame. Um, I mean, look at you know all time frames here. Fifteen minute on on the on the right hand side, the hour here uh, in the middle, and then the daily on on the uh, right hand side. I mean, the momentum is clearly uh, you know to the downside here. Uh, we're asking for a lot uh, to to you know see that uh, counter trend uh, trade. Um, but what I do like about the counter trend trade here is here is the swing over here on the daily chart, and that's around. Um, 3807 or so somewhere around there uh, and uh, we have these huge down days here okay so you know lo looking for a lot of covering here uh, looking for buyers to maybe come back in and try to trade it back into the range uh, and uh, uh, see if we can get back up into some of these areas here uh, one of the first areas would be on at least on the daily chart would be right here uh, and that would be uh, a back up to um, uh, the open here uh, at at 3880 or so or 75 somewhere around there I mean there's there's a lot of blank space in here so we can really whip through that those areas here so on the 15 minute chart let's just look at the day here uh, we don't have a lot of data in here <laughs> we don't have much at all um, yeah, we we'll have to go down to maybe a five minute. Boy, I, I mean, any retracements, the first one would probably be about here, uh, which is 37.80, and then the second one would be up here around 92. Okay, this looks pretty good. This is better. This is, you know something different notice the cluster of buying up here okay and the uh, uh it did make a higher higher high yeah now let's see if we can get a bit more here and we should get the break higher looking for our move to here 76 and then uh on up to our 80 level 81 Okay, the buying looks good in here like that uh, I'm just looking for um, uh, the, the order book here to help us out a bit a little more demand at a higher level here we haven't really seen too much of that yet All right, here we go. Let's see it. Buyers looking for the squeeze up into 78 liquidity, maybe, maybe 80. Let's see it. Let's see if they can do it here. Yeah, don't don't like uh, don't like seeing. We looking we're looking for our buyers here. We didn't get them. We're look see the buyers here. That's not what we want. These guys are like are buying as it's going down, basically. Right, they can get squeezed very, very easily uh, to the downside. When you see this kind of behavior here, this is almost, uh, I mean, we haven't covered this as a setup, but it, it, it's a good one. Uh, it, it's something that I think worthy of some study in here is we see the buying, we see the buying, lack of buying, and then we get the buying down here. That's not what we want. Right? See how the sellers come in here and they'll start squeezing them uh, to, to the, uh, on the long side. Right, we we need to see buyers up here for them for buyers to move it from away from uh, this area here. See, sellers are moving it away from this area instead. Here we go, one more shot, buyers. Let's see it. And now uh, they've got to move it back up to here, uh, back to 75, basically at this point, if if that's going to unfold. Now. down to 70 let's zoom out here let's get our bigger picture uh, by the way so rolled over to the the U contract uh, you, guys, you guys probably are all on the I noticed that already nice area of liquidity just filled here at 70 so that's good to see
Uh, Tope, we're looking at the S&P E-mini. Okay. All right, buyers, back up to 75, and then let's see if we can get our break back up into 80 here. Uh, you know, more on more on the hook here, but th this is really, you know, we're seeing the buying coming in. We're just not getting any follow through whatsoever. But th th and this is where we got it. We got the retest back up here to 75. We we got it. We, this is really where they need to step in, and need to break it. Okay, demand is coming up a little bit on the bid. That's good. Let's see it. They got to show up here looking for it. All right. Looking for the squeeze here. Let's see if we can get back up into 80. 80 is a good level just to begin with here. The buying looks good. Okay. We're just testing the 75 area and we're seeing buying. And there was buying here previously. So now we're looking for the push up into 80. Okay. Does uh, does this make sense? Uh, this was, you know, we're, we're going through the scenario in here and looking for it a few different times. It didn't pan out. This one's looking much better. We're just looking for a move to 80, though, uh, right now. Okay. And now, this might turn into a higher time frame move as well. Uh, let's, let's just zoom out a bit more. Yeah, I mean, you know, this could move all the way back up to 90. Okay, maybe even back to the uh, the figure here at 3,800. Okay, it's a high volume node up here as well. I believe it's the point of control. Yeah. One one thing to note about these these types of days in here, um, when we get volatility. The volatility works both ways. Like uh, you know, you, we get these uh, really, really big moves down, but the uh, the retracements can be um, pretty pretty volatile as well. Right, and there's a lot of empty space in here. Like uh, uh, volume wise, like you can you know, basically there's a more volume up in this kind of cluster up here. So maybe we can get a retracement back up into our 90 level that we were just looking at and talking about. Uh, and maybe even a little bit higher here, you know, 3,800. All right. So now, now you can even see the break here on the, in the structure on the five minute as well. Okay. So we're just testing up to 80. Now, uh, in terms of trade management on something like this, this would be up to you. You know, it's a counter trend trade uh, and maybe it chops back and forth in here for a while. Uh, but uh, I would uh, personally, I would be scaling out of here one position at 80. And that's again, th this is not uh, a, a trade calling room. Uh, it's just considerations. Okay? It's not financial advice. It's not a recommendation. Uh, it's just a way of looking at it here uh, and for your consideration. Okay, for many different ways of trading. All right, so now you've got a runner uh, and you can hold it for uh, uh, maybe a, the bigger move here. Alec, yeah, yeah. Alec, I saw your interview. Very nice. Uh, so uh, everybody, uh, Alec uh, uh, had an interview in the uh, in our blog. If you want to go and check that out. Yeah, Alex le leading quite the uh, the lifestyle. A little envious, uh, surfing uh, in Bali and uh, trading at night. Um, so, and th this is why I, I like to take my profits. Like I said, you know, 
Uh, as you guys know, like uh, or maybe you study Wyckoff or you know volume profile, it doesn't matter. Um, the uh, uh, starting to look at the, the the market behavior in some of these levels in here, you get you get a move, you get distribution, and then you get a move. All right, so um, that's kind of the Wyckoff uh, way of looking at things, uh, but uh, uh, that's why you know. These counter trend trades, like you, you may consider taking your profits in some of those areas, uh, at least partial, and try to hold for a runner. Um, one of the things that we've noticed in the order flow, uh, we mentioned that um, we've mentioned it several times in the past. On the way down, if you see nothing but high liquidity being filled, uh, then uh, uh, you, you know that that distribution is happening on the move down. So it doesn't have to do this back and forth and a head and shoulders or anything, you know, uh, you know, range bound or consolidation in these areas. All it has to do is basically uh, uh, kind of like, you know, gets uh, get one more move to the downside here and you get a V bottom move. Uh, and you see the uh, the buyers come pouring in as well as uh, uh, all, anyone that's short is going to be covering and becoming buyers on the way up. Okay, so. Uh, some some uh, considerations in, in understanding the order flow uh, in, in the details here. You know, for example, if we take a look at that tw that tweet here. Uh, okay, so what what price level is this? This is um, this is thirty nine hundred. Okay, we're a hundred more than a hundred points lower right now. Okay, but this is where a lot of people got filled. Okay, so if that's the case, well, let's take a look at our bigger picture okay, and start to maybe understand the order flow here. And, and uh, this maybe answers a question uh, uh, that uh, uh, Jenny, uh, yeah, that's the, the Bali guy. Uh, uh, the um, uh, 30, Where's 3,900? Well, that's, that's where it gapped from up here. So you know, start to look at start to look at these areas here, not in terms of like, you know, uh, price action, but in terms of orders, right? That's a, this is what order flow is all about. We're understanding the orders in these areas in here, and uh, you might want to you might want to consider marking them up. Uh, what happened in these areas in here? Okay, well, a, a lot of traders got filled on the bid. There was a lot of iceberg orders. Now, are they covering? Maybe. Uh, sure, they are. There's a lot of covering. Are they positioning themselves? Maybe. Uh, all I know is that if we see buyers, a lot of buyers starting to come in, we'd be looking for a move back up into that area here. And that's what you know a likely uh, scenario to unfold because there's a lot of transactions up there. All right. So uh, uh, that's kind of a bigger picture look at things. Nice, Corwin. You took a nice trade off that uh, thirty-nine hundred. You you held over the weekend, really. Well, I'm asking you if you held. You didn't say you held over the weekend, but uh, uh, if you did, uh, boy, you're sitting pretty nicely. Okay, you didn't. Yeah, that's so. That's a gutsy uh, gutsy move. Oh, it was a two-second trade. Okay. Okay. So anyway, we we cover this like you know, uh, uh, partial profit here at thirty-seven eighty. It's a counter trend trade. We understand that. We're looking for the move though, and uh, you would have been likely you would have been stopped out on your other other position at break even at this point, and that's fine. You got a little bit of profit. You gave this a, a shot. Okay, look for the next setup. And again, you know, look, one thing in here we do not want to do 
uh, is we're not a trading room or one, we're not one trading strategy or one trading style. Uh, that would really be bad. Uh, people trade so many different ways. So, uh, you know, we're here to cover as many ways as possible, but integrate order flow within it. That's why we have Scott Pulsini on Thursday, the way that he trades. That's why we have Jay Trader. That's why we have, why we have Tom. Uh, Tom will be, uh, he's a volume profile trader. He'll be in the afternoon. Okay, so uh, East Coast time. Uh, so you can see how uh, these individuals trade or look at the market. Hey, their analysis, uh, their trade management, their considerations here. I mean, look at look at this move here. Like, uh, and we see some demand here, right? Now, we don't know uh, if we if we see a structure break in here, though. Okay, buyers back up above sixty four here. Well. Here's your volume profile up here. How about a return just to here, 70? All right, that's a counter trend trade here. Uh, but you're looking for a, a confluence of events in here to help you out with that. So here's our break of it. Now, do we get continuation? Looking for buyers back up to, yeah, 67. I'd love to see this move to, to 70 right here. Okay, let's see it. Let's see these buyers here. There's exhaustion on the sell side in this small little move. Looking for our buyers, looking for 67 and then 70. Okay, off the high volume node down here. I see a little bit of a bounce. We're looking for buyers to bounce here if you're if we're looking for that move up into. 67 and 70 here okay all right so here they come so they're bouncing off of this high volume node here okay now i'd love to see this is what we're looking for more demand here and the reaction to be buyers with more demand and see how it's really fickle in here it's not giving us much so yeah that this trade idea is not working out Right? It was the order flow in here. We're looking for more demand here and we just didn't get it. All right? So uh you know, bail on the on the trade idea. We want as much in our favor as possible in here uh in the order flow to support our uh, the the um uh the concept or the the trade idea. Okay, showing more liquidity now at the figure down here, Stops and icebergs, um, uh, Malik. I, I'm looking at here. Um, yeah, I, I need to. I'll need to add them. Uh, I have the uh, sub chart here. Uh, I, I took them off on the on chart. I'll throw them on here, uh, and I have some kind of you know the way that I, I have them uh, displaying here is a little bit uh, unique. I'll show you the um, way that I have them here. Okay, so uh, I've got the um, automatic threshold here, okay, and I have a multiplier on pretty high. So uh, let's see here. Let's do this again. That's a little high, a little too high here. Um, all right, so I'll move this down to two, the multiplier. So this is based on standard deviations here uh, within an hour period. Uh, the uh, show the standard deviation. If the multiplier is on zero here, 
well then there is it, it's just standard deviation right uh, if I move it up it's just an average uh, if I move it up here it's going to be a multiplier of that standard deviation uh, and uh, it's going to be two times that uh, and then you can see it in here what it's showing in the gray area in here because the input is now based on on uh, uh, the slider uh, it'll change so if I move it way up here you see it's 300 don't show anything unless it's 321 icebergs or more if if the you know deviation here the multiplier is five if I move it down to two then it's 146 here okay so uh, and then I, I like this quite a bit um, uh, the way that uh, show the transparencies here uh, at 50 percent uh, if it doesn't meet my threshold still show it but with it with the um, uh, a transparency of 50 percent so I'm still seeing all like all the icebergs in here here's 56 down here here's like you know six that were canceled etc but I can't see it very well uh, and that kind of frees me up a little bit here to look for the most important ones but I can also see the uh, smaller ones in here okay all right back up to 61 And stops the same thing here. Let me go through the stop settings. And I'm putting the putting the multiplier kind of high. So let me know if you have any questions on that. Uh, not looking for much out of this move here. I mean, like, uh, uh, you know, still looking for a sell side here. Uh, basically, we see the buyers come in, but the structure is not being broken. And you see how, the, again, these guys kind of on the hook in here. Um, uh, so th they, they can be stopped out uh, pretty nicely here. Okay, so uh, uh, anyone buying in here thinking they kind of caught the bottom here, but they're kind of already on their back foot. And we, we covered that a little bit earlier. So now, now we're looking for the sellers to really try to press it here uh, into 54 and maybe 50. Okay. It, the second scenario is that we, get, we do get buyers, but we need to see them back up here around 61 or so. And that would be the scenario. Uh, bigger picture here, I still like this uh, idea of a retracement back up into uh, uh, this really kind of um, low volume area in here. Cut through that and it just continued to the downside. So, you know, a retracement back up into this area here. Uh, whenever we start to see buyers come back in. Well, Jenny, I mean, if, if you're taking any counter trend trades on this, you have to be very, very careful. Uh, I mean, it's in a free fall right now. That's why, I mean, we're, we're going through the scenarios in here. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, a, a, as mentioned when we when we started, we go with the bigger the bigger trend until we see something something different. And I was trying to define what that different thing looks like. OK, we saw it a few times uh, and uh, this this one most notably uh, here. Okay, and that move into 80 okay, and then and then the lack of uh, uh, follow through on that yeah see see how now we're getting our buyers here at 61 okay so get back up to 65 here 66 right now we can trade back and we can come back to that original idea to start to um, trade back into this uh, 67 to, to 70 area here Right, see, see the buying coming in. Okay, now if we get a pullback, we'd be looking for the pullback uh, to just about here at 60. Okay, kind of where it broke out from here, or this cluster as well. 
and then we'd be looking for the order flow around that area. Right here. Okay, Jenny. Yeah, I mean, I'm glad to hear that uh, you, you grabbed that move to 80. Um, I mean, just uh, again, it's not a trade recommendation or a trading room in here. Uh, just uh, um, the um, these are just like trade ideas or considerations. Uh, by, by reading the order flow. Yeah, and when something looks good, you know, you, you, you have an edge. I mean, uh, look at your levels, your higher time frame, stick with your plan, whatever your plan might be. Your, your plan could be, you know, candlesticks. Oh, okay, you're just training on sim and, and practicing. Okay, well, see see how like that, look for that, and that's, that's great. So go, now that's maybe gives you an idea for something to go study. Uh, and then see if you can gain an edge through that, right? That's the, the whole key. Now, when you know, you think about the confidence that's going to have uh, when you can gain an edge. Right? You've studied that setup. You've, you, you know what you're looking for, precisely what you're looking for. And when it unfolds, uh, you, you know, you just automatically take the trade. Because uh, you know you have an edge. This is exactly what J Trader does, uh, Scott and uh, um, and and Tom. I mean, they're they're that's exactly what they're looking for. And in essence, you've kind of embraced the unknown as well. You you know that uh, well, it can do anything. Uh, but I'm looking for this specific thing, and I know that I'll, I will get stopped out. I will have losses on some of those, but in general, it works. Uh, let's see, there was a question here about APIs. Um, Are we going to come up with more APIs? We have, we come up with um, add-ons uh, frequently, uh, Corwin. Uh, the latest one that we had was the liquidation indicator, which I, I think is just amazing. And that's, you know, we had the uh, uh, crypto webinar series all last week to kind of showcase that as well. I, I like it even better than stops and icebergs, personally. I mean, stops and icebergs is amazing, but like to know that the exchange is actually liquidating people's positions, that's amazing. Look at this on the way down here. Look how the market just squeezes and liquidates people on the downside here. Oh my God, this is, it's just, is that like 300 coins? Hold on a minute here. Yeah, yeah. These liquidations are massive. Now look look at this whole area of liquidation here. Okay, so it's the same idea of this whole area in here. Talk about market structure on Bitcoin here. Uh, and what if you can get back up above here? Okay, it did for a little bit, and then it's it's back in the range here. So you know you can go through some of these scenarios in here, starting to understand this de the detail of the orders in here or positions of other traders in this case all right so uh, yeah all right so did we find more liquidations on the downside here now this is bitfinex right uh yeah so what about uh, binance futures let's take a look at that and again just massive just massive liquidity down or uh, liquidations Boy, this is scary. Anyway, uh, yeah, understanding precisely where people are. And you can see almost all of these take place uh, at the extremes. So in, in, the, in the futures, we're looking at stops in these areas. Uh, and in this case here, 
it's not it's even more precise than stops so in these in these areas here people are actually having their positions closed by the exchange because they're defaulting on their margin oh let's see i turn my head away and here's our move god look at the buyers in here guys still looking looking for the pr the press up into 70 we talked about it okay we look for the move into into 67 and then 70 here okay it's already done 67 uh bugs me i got uh, we may yeah, turn turn my turn our head away for a second here uh nonetheless this is this is it this is what it looks like uh and looking for again buyers here and looking for a squeeze uh we haven't really seen too many um sellers uh or you know any uh, uh people buying here like our short squeeze so i'm looking for it i want to see these uh stops uh you know hit uh as we get the move up into 70 here Now, this is just a beautiful little area to, to come back and trade back into uh, 70. Uh, I mean, it's a low volume node. There's, I mean, it didn't auction quite right in here or single prints or, you know, all, all of that kind of stuff for you volume profile guys. Uh, and then um, uh, for the, um, and can't, can't make it. Interesting. Okay, well, it made it to the swing at 67. That's, that was our first stop here. Still looking for it, though. And okay, we're just back in the range here. Okay, back at the bottom of the range. Let's see if they support it, though. Looking for buyers to support it here. Looking for a lack of sellers. Or if we do get our sellers in here... Uh, looking for a big iceberg order or uh, and or high liquidity getting filled in here. Okay, for a move back up here, here's 487 uh, uh, icebergs have already transacted at this price level. And they're still here in the book. Well, they're still here. They're not in the book, but... <laughs> All right, so we're uh, Captain Price here bringing in, in lunar cycles here uh, into the analysis. I don't know if it's full moon or not. Is it? Yeah, liquidation indicators, uh, P Trader, it's only working on not only just crypto, but only on four different exchanges at this time. Okay, Bitfinex, uh, Binance Futures, Bybit, and FTX. Guys, this was really short-lived here. This is uh, not good. Uh, it's pretty bearish. If uh, it can't even kind of fill in this area in here, this was as high as it goes, was kind of the swing here. Uh, and then we're looking for our support down here, or, you know, a lot in the, in the book. And none of that uh, unfolded here. There was very little in the order book. We didn't. We don't see many, many buyers either. Uh, so uh, uh, you know, sellers come back in. And here's a retracement back to it. Uh, we need to see quite a few buyers now at this point, uh, else just looking for sell side still, uh, and then uh, uh, the drop into this 50 level here. Right. I mean, this was as high as it could go here, and it, it couldn't make make it up into seventy. All right. But uh, anyway, that's uh, uh, looking for that. But uh, we'll go through the scenarios again. All right. Structure, structure being broken, broken on high volume. And well, maybe they can reach back up here to sixty-four. Okay, so nice move to 64. Uh, and uh, 
yeah, I, you know, this would be a small scalp for me, basically. Uh, I'd, I'd get out a leg, maybe, maybe all. But uh, just looking for that. Okay, now we can go through a different scenario. We're still not seeing much in the order book, so let's see if we get our sellers in here and try to move it right back down to 57 and 56. Okay, and then maybe we get our continuation here uh, into into the figure, half figure at least, 50. 55 here, liquidity as well. Guys, this is during rollover period, uh, but we're seeing some pretty nice moves. Typically, rollover can be um, uh, kind of challenging. So here's our continuation move, right? So again, this is kind of the level here at 60, and we see the selling down below it. So we're looking for a continuation, and we're getting it. We're getting our follow through here. All right, so this was just kind of a, you can see why this was kind of a scalp idea. Um, and then a continuation here. But the continuation below 60, below 60, they're not supporting it here at 60. <laughs> Jared, too too busy trading to look at the moon. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Price, you like it because it confirms your your panic days. Hey, there you go. Whatever. Hey, whatever works. Really, seriously. I mean, if it's some sort of odd coincidence, like you know, I mean, it. Whatever works. You studied it. Hey, maybe there's something to it. I Look, I've heard it for years that some people swear by lunar patterns. Yeah, Jenny, I mean, like, you, you can see, like, a, how you have to be rather quick on some of these moves in here. Uh, again, the, the, the idea was that, okay, great, buyers starting to come in looking for the move back up to the swing starting to break some of the structure here but if we get back down here and we see our sellers and they're not supporting this anymore uh, at 60 and they're not we don't see anything in the order book here we didn't see any buyers come in we're looking for back down to 56 and 57 the b bottom of the range here maybe they'll support it there they didn't right so we're getting continuation of the move here right and you would be looking for something to give you a hint down here in the order book high liquidity iceberg transactions lack of of selling uh, we don't get any of that down here so you know you can still stick with the the continuation move here and the and the trend right so i mean if you if you don't see what you're looking for in the in the order flow then uh you, you stick with the the bigger move Uh, the concept is really simple in here, what we're talking about. Uh, in, and it's just that, that um, uh, the, the orders give us insight. It's the, what makes up the market, it, you know, would be the first question. Like, what, what, why does price move? Uh, what what would qual qualify as capitulation? Um, oh, uh, the 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 um, uh, tre trepidity the um, that liquidation indicator is on the uh, it, it's included with global and global plus. So uh, go to the knowledge base. All right, let me show you where. And then uh, yeah, if you guys want. I mean, like, we'll get the discussion going on uh, what makes price move type of thing, um, but uh, it, it's important. Okay, so let me let me show you this here. So um, this is where you can find it. Go to the more button from bookmap.com and go to the knowledge base. Okay, this is where um, you will find all of the add-ons here uh, that are included with Global and Global Plus and some of the crypto markets. 
Uh, so now you're in the knowledge base section, but see how this you're in the user guide section here. That's what's highlighted. Okay, we want to go to the add-on section, so click on that. Okay, now that area is highlighted, and you can see all the add-ons here in the left-hand side. Uh, li liquidation indicators here at the bottom. Okay, click on that. Uh, so some of these add-ons in here aren't included in, in Global or Global Plus, like the Hero is not included in it, but I think all the rest of them are. Okay. So anyway, this is where you can find uh, a lot of information and details on the liquidation indicator. It's all here. There's a video, how it works, how to install it, uh, etc. Okay. Well, capitulation. Um... Oh, you're welcome. Uh... Well, capitulation, I mean, basically, I don't know, the way I kind of look at it, uh, uh, to be honest, Bert, is like, the, 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 let's say this move here to the downside, you know, let's say we get our sellers in here. See, the, there, there's some buyers here on the bid at 53, and you can see the market kind of reacting to that. Okay, capitulation, though, would be like, there's no one interested here, and no one wants to buy until it gets to a lower level, you know, down, down here at 50. But you can see, see see them bidding up and in, in in between here a little bit. And this is very very typical. Before we hit the figure, you you'll see a lot of this kind of activity. And a lot of times you'll see even moves, counter trend moves, and it kind of has to come back up into like our 67 or 70 level, and then and then finally trade back down. Okay, but if if there's no one interested in in buying uh, down here, and you see sellers come in, like the buyers have capitulated, like you, you, we'll we'll see it move pretty quickly down to these lower levels. And wait wait until those buyers start to step in, basically. All right, so let's go back here to YouTube. Um, let's see, more ad there, there it, if I can recommend a specific computer. Uh, if you go to that user guide section I just showed you in the in the book map knowledge base, we do have recommendations in there. Uh, but uh, there's something even better than that, uh, and that is here uh, in our Discord channel, guys. In fact, I'm I'm kind of thinking like, um, you know, of consolidating our our um, discussions maybe only in Discord. It's kind of tough to jump back and forth here. Uh, so maybe we'll have just, you know, our, our, our chat and our discussion in Discord. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Uh, but um, uh, anyway, so, yeah, come here to Discord uh, and our Discord chat room here for Bookmap. Uh, and then you'll see in here, let me just blow this up. Uh, you'll see in here the, um, uh, we have a nice little uh, discussion group going on in here. Hold on, getting there, hold on, on. Oh, come on, I know it's in here. Uh, on workstations, maybe I just need to do a, a, a search. Yeah, this bugs me. Hold on a minute here. I gotta find this. Okay. How about over here?
anyway guys i i don't know why i can't find it i know it's in here um i'm, I'm skipping over it somewhere in here uh but uh find the thread on on workstations in here oh my preview window is blocking it got it thank you yeah there it is right up here workstations okay and uh you'll, you'll see all sorts of stuff in here right recommendations for a laptop and every look at some of the people People's setups in here are crazy. I mean, they're great. So, uh, yeah, good thread in here. So, yeah, ch check that out. Okay, let's let's take a look uh, back at uh, current price here. All right, so we have our European close coming up. Guys, I mean, this is going to be a, a heck of a week. Uh, we have, you know, all sorts of data uh, coming out. Uh, and you can see how, how the market is reacting to uh, in inflation uh, and the Fed, uh, I mean, it, it's, you know, and the volatility here. So, and there's going to be a lot of things that affect price here uh, in the next few days. So just read the order flow. Be careful here. Be objective. Be objective. So, for example, look at this. Lots of buyers in here. This is pretty strong buying. I'm looking for them to try to trade up here to 62 to, to 65, basically. And, you know, if if they, we can get those buyers in here like this, then we can get back up to our 70 level here. Okay, we were looking at earlier. So we know there's buyers in here now. Are they supporting it in the order book? We didn't have that before. Here they are. They're, they're, they're here at 56. You can see it, right? Look at 58 under here as well, and we're getting buyers. Great. All right, well, let's see them squeeze it now up into 65. And we should set, we should see a stop run here as well. I would anticipate a stop run here. Okay, see the bid here? See how we got that extra piece of information here we didn't have before? Okay, and it's, it's squeezing already. Okay, we're looking for continuation of that squeeze higher okay we have lots of buyers in here too so we're looking for more and they're supporting it uh, on the bid here okay we're up at just about uh, that would be our first target or let's take a look now would would that be our first target yeah i'd, I'd take some off up here at that swing i'm still looking for more 67 and 70. All right this is some see the difference in here see the buying coming in here so we're looking for back up into some of these levels here. Okay. Just looking at these three elements in book map and the, the order flow in here uh, to give us insight to these moves. And, you know, we're, these are counter trend trades against a, 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 a market like this. Okay. So uh, let's let's even you can even look at your five minute chart here, the 70 area. We, we already know that that's going to be that's a low volume node up in up in that area. And you can see why. Uh, but uh, maybe you can get up even higher, 74 or even up in the 80 level that we looked at previously that uh, Jenny was looking at uh, as well. So, uh, you know, it could even make it back up into some of these levels. There's not a whole lot of uh, transactions up here. Right. So, you know. The swings can be really, really wicked uh, in volatility. So, you know, study study your uh, your trades in, in volatile markets, uh, and uh, you, you know it's hard to um, when those counter trend trades show up. It's it's uh, it's hard to hold uh, because they will test you, uh, and you'll get these pullbacks that are amazing. Uh, so, you know, take your profits uh, on some of the big moves and the big swings uh, and, and uh, you know, uh, uh, manage your trades um, aggressively. I mean, don't, again, not trade recommendations, but just it, it's just uh, an understanding of the uh, environment that you can anticipate on big move uh, up or down that you're, you're going to get some, some pretty big retracements as well. Okay, still looking for them to squeeze it up. And we got a nice stop run there. I'm, I want to see 70, though. Our 70 level, we really liked it uh, earlier. And we're just about there. 
Is is this clear? Do, do you guys can you see this here? Let me let me just bring down the heat map here for a minute. Uh, and let me take I'm going to take the stops and icebergs off here as well for just just for the moment here. Okay. Can you see that distinction in here? Do you see that bind? Do you see the structure break here? And look at the buying pressure. And we're still up here. And we're still, you still see them come in. That's why we're looking for our 65 level up here. And then, and then 70. And 70 just traded. Okay. And yeah, I, I would take my profit at 70. And it still may go higher. But that's what I was looking for. That was my, you know, trade idea. And in fact, it's still... You know, looking at this time frame, and then this is a different time frame, uh, it still looks good. There's still a lot of buying here. So maybe you can go up into 72, up into here where it dropped from, or up into here. Okay, 80. But I just want to make sure you guys can see the, the distinction, right? And 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 how that adds to your your um, uh, you know your benefit, like starting to understand the order book. Like we we saw the distinction in the order book underneath here; they were supporting it, right? We didn't have that before. So, you know, price, we'd see the buyers come in, but there's just like, ah, eh, you know, they're not really bidding up in here. And like, and then we see the sellers come in and they drop it back down into lower liquidity at a lower level. It doesn't matter, uh, Jenny, if the, if the big um, buyer or sellers, is, is, if it's a stop that is being triggered or not, it's the transaction we're interested in. Huh, you have a Ryzen 5, I think I do too, uh, and 32 gigs of RAM. I, that's what I have too. And my, I, I, don't have, I don't think I have any, I mean, I don't have any issues with Bookmap. And a lot of times I have a lot more symbols open than, than this right now. I, I don't know if you're uh, keeping Bookmap open uh, all week long. If so, that's going to affect it for sure. Reiner, 52. You got in around 52. Wow. Excellent. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have seen that. Or if I did, I would have probably taken it back up to here and, and, and gotten out on some of it. But once I saw these guys starting to come in, in these areas up in here, yeah, especially this transaction here, I, I'm looking for them to try to try to bring it back up into maybe th this swing up here or this liquidity here. You know, it's not much, but you know, looking for the bigger move to unfold. When you zoom out, you can see that distinction. Uh, and that's what we're talking about here. Okay. And that's the edge. Uh, and then seeing that support in the order book underneath here as well, along with this aggressive buying. Yeah. All right. So let's see here. Hey, Reiner, yes, you're also looking at some of the options. And uh, yeah, you might want to, if you don't have it already, uh, you might want to look into the um, uh, hero indicator and the options, uh, uh, hedge impact uh, in the options here from Spot Gamma. <laughs> thanks thanks on the uh compliment with the uh, uh the live streams here uh yeah yeah i mean really trying to keep it th this is really kind of the key uh is keep it simple uh and objective uh and what i mean by objective is like you know this is something that's been seen many times over and we understand the conditions of the order of the orders uh and the order flow and that's what we're looking for uh, and uh, that, because the mark, I, I, my answer to the question earlier, what, what is the market made up of? It's made up of orders. 
it's orders that make the difference. So we're looking at the order flow to give us insight uh, to where the, where the market might go. These are the footprints in the sand uh, that are undeniable. Yeah, we, I can show you the uh, hero indicator again. And I also have an on chart as well. That's the green line here. Uh, what's the hedge impact? Well, I think the details on that, you should probably talk to Spot Gamma. Uh, but uh, ba the, the idea is very simple, uh, that uh, the dealer has to take the other side of the trade, or the options trade, so they'll immediately hedge uh, in the futures. Uh, and um, uh, therefore, uh, you know, that gives us some uh, some insight uh, that, uh, wow, okay, well, if they're going to be buying a whole bunch of, and let, let's turn it on, on chart here. I actually don't see much of a hedge impact down here. It's actually over here uh, on the way down. So uh, not, not seeing too much. See, I, I keep this on, but I keep it down pretty low. Uh, let's put it on 1,000 here and see what happens. So here, yeah, 58,000, my God. Um, yeah, not a whole lot uh, of stuff going on in here. Another big one here and here. Anyway. So it, and so put these pieces together. If this was a hedge impact way up here, well, maybe that's also an area to look for a retracement to. You know, line it up with liquidity at here, 37.90, high liquidity there. We just that's, these are just some concepts to consider. Guys, this has been a really nice nice move here. Okay, so 80 is already achieved and it's already a backup above it to 85. Okay, we talked about this when the when the webinar began. Uh, and uh, how these areas in here, there's not a whole lot, and these, these can be really, really wicked retracements, uh, and you could still be bearish, right? So the next area, look on your candlestick chart here, it would be this kind of 91 or 92 area up here. Okay, to try to trade back into this kind of cluster of, of volume up here and where the sellers came in and really pounded it lower, right? Well, what's that look like in bookmap? Well, it's up here. Okay, so this is where those sellers came in. Okay, this is when the webinar started. Uh, I have some experience with that um, um, uh, spot gamma a hero indicator uh, but I uh, haven't really done any kind of in-depth studies on it wow you're okay so Reiner you're going for 3808 uh, you're looking at some of these swings up here yeah maybe I, I don't know I, I would, I'm just looking for I'm, I'm curious to see if we get up to 3800 here but uh, especially here I really like this 95 level here And we'll see. I mean, maybe there's just not enough buying pressure. Maybe this was it, you know, up to 80. Spike above it, and that's it. You know, we have to read the order flow. What, what You know, how much how much demand is there? What How much uh, of the aggressors are, are, are in here are, are interested in moving price uh, to some of these areas? Okay, let me see. I think I'm caught up here um, on all the questions. Yeah, I mean, there's a small delay here in YouTube, so it, it's it's actually kind of better if you guys are over there uh, in Discord. Guys, if you like this video, um, or you know, you like these streams, please give give me a thumbs up in there. Uh, that's uh, really good for us. It re really helps us here. Helps us do more of these. Mm 
Yeah, yeah, it's really appreciated. Uh, and uh, let's let's see here. Um, let me go to the Discord chat. Yeah, yeah, guys, put you, I encourage you to put your uh, your input there, your your experiences about the uh, workstations, see what works, what doesn't, uh, etc. Uh, I can show you here on the knowledge base about uh, you know what we recommend, uh, and um, just go to user the uh, knowledge base user guide section in here, and then bookmap system requirements, and then we have it broken down into to minimum. Okay, which I, I would suggest, uh, you know, at least meet this. I mean, Windows 8, come on, no one's using Windows 8. Um, uh, here's the recommended. Okay, and then here's for heavier use here using MBO, you know, full resolution, etc. So this is the one to look at here. Uh, and this is basically minimum for heavy use. Okay, so you have 32 gigs here. Uh, and then in terms of... Uh, processor, I don't see it. Hold on. Yeah, here it is. I9 or, or Ryzen 9. Yeah. Okay. So I don't I don't even have that. I think I have a Ryzen 5 and it's is working great. All right guys, anyway, uh, European close just now uh nice move up into 85. Uh the um I'm I'm kind of curious to see if we'll see some support in here at this cluster here. I don't see it right now. I see them actually on the on the offer at 80. Uh, so uh, uh, yeah, maybe we maybe we can um, uh, see the move back down to our 70 level here. Okay, P potential move back down to there. Uh, but here here come the buyers, so they're going to go for this 80 here. All right, let's see if we can get our sellers in here. They didn't make it to 80. Okay, looking, looking to see if we can get some sellers in here. Nah, somewhere right around here, 76. And then we can kind of uh, hit on down into some of these lower levels. There's there's some exhaustion. Okay, let's see the sellers come in. Not looking for thing, anything on the bid until down here at 72. Looking for more on the offer up here. And looking for our aggressive sellers. And then we can get our move. Right? Likely, or it's more likely we'll get our move. Put it that way. Anyway, guys, we'll wrap it up. We'll, we'll call it a day. Thanks for coming, everybody. Uh, if you like the video, yeah, uh, please um, uh, hit the thumbs up button there uh, and uh, join us in Discord. Uh, Tom B is up next, so uh, the streaming will continue uh, right into his session. Uh, he'll be looking at the S&P E-mini as well. Uh, and then uh, he'll, he'll be going through his volume profile uh, methods, okay? Yeah, so uh, yeah, take take a look at uh, uh, <laughs> Tom B. Uh, guys, we'll uh, follow up with you tomorrow, same time, okay? Yep, take care, thanks.